Oh, why are you? Let's head on over to the balloon. Oh, I didn't want to though. There's so much stuff to do left. We can go over to the balloon, but why? Why? Nah, nah, nah. I'm good. I'm good. Cause I got one more thing to do. Actually, two more things to do. No, yeah, one more thing to do. Sorry, sorry. I know what I'm doing. So this this thing, Mushroom Speedway, needs 20 eggs, but we have uh, 29. Let's go, Speedway time. These are probably some of my favorite speedways in the series. Oh dear, they did it again. Oh boy. They did the buzzing thing again. Oh, okay. Well... Let's do the time attack. Let's do it in order. This, this just remind this. I know there's nothing wrong with this scene per se, but this just reminds me of the 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 sin of not giving Sparks subtitles in Enter the Dragonfly, and it's just really upsetting me right now. <laughs> okay. Also, I like how the music, the the main melody, didn't kick in until you actually did the this. That's so cool. Like the dynamic music in this, so good. It was such a good idea to do this. Ooh, giant mushroom land. I mean, it, I guess it is called Mushroom Speedway, but still, wow. Oh, that's cool. There's a nice little lit area in there. Cool. And the spiders will lead us straight to the butterflies. Oh, look at this area! Oh. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Hang on, hang on. I missed one. There we go. Ah, for a second I didn't think I was gonna get that last one. Okay. Neato. And we're gonna do it again, except we're not gonna do it again because Hunter is right around here somewhere. Right around here. Right, right around here? Wait a second. Oh, I have to find him within the minute? The time doesn't count up, it counts down! Jeez! I think it's this one. Yeah, there he is. Whoa! A bunch of sheep and flying saucers just came out of nowhere and started blasting up the race course. Looks like I'll have to hop in my plane and teach him some manners. So this is the first instance in which you actually get to play as Hunter. Looks too dangerous. Ah, we're one. We're one for danger. Look out, sheep! Here I come. All right. Now it says Spyro there, but you make no mistake. You actually do play as Hunter. You can also get shot down, so don't do it. Oh, wow, this is cool. I like this. This is so cool. Ah! I got shot down. Wait a second! Hang on! After I got shot down for, for some reason, for by something, I didn't see what, I could control Hunter for a little bit? Man, you know what would be really cool? If you could just walk around as Hunter. Oh! I crashed into a... Damn. I can't shoot down the bullets! Oh no! This is not a, this is not a top-down shooter. You can also shoot down... You know, the, the things that Spyro are using to collect stuff. There's one. Ah! Come here! I got... I got him? I got him and I didn't crash into that bullet. That's cool. Oh, no! Oh, I missed. Oh, my, my hit percentage is going to suffer greatly for this. Ah! 
Nice. Where are you? Where's the other one? I saw another one. Oh, come here. There we go. All right. One more. There you are. Shoot him. Shoot him. Check it out. The squad leader had abducted this egg. Man, I wish there was more to that challenge than there was. Tater tot. He's not potato colored. What a waste of a joke. Okay, anyway. What? 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 I did not do the challenge where they do, do that. Oh, Spyro wasn't even. Okay, time for a bit of context because this looks really dumb on my part without it. In the original Year of the Dragon, whenever you would complete the time trial in any speedway, the player would be immediately brought back to Sparks, who would present you with an egg, and you would have to start the time trial again in order to do the Hunter Challenge. In Reignited, you have the option of retrying the time trial without collecting the egg first, so when you're not paying attention, like me, it makes you look like you got two eggs for one challenge. Yeah. Not my proudest moment. No! No, I have to do it by principle! By principle! I can't just leave without racing! Okay, so, 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 there is supposed to be a race here. So let's, let's race. This is probably the best part of these, uh, these speedways, is that they actually function as speedways now! Get these, uh, these... blue stars that you fly through, and you just speed up! And the red stars give you ammunition to shoot your opponents with. <laughs> so it's kinda just in your favor the entire time. I don't think you'll see any in this in this speedway though. I think it starts with the next one. Yeah, here. Also, you can use your dragon fire. You know what? Basically, it's uh, it's it's fight to survive. It's Kumite. Ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh no. That was bad. That was bad on my part. I'm kind of just expecting Bolo Young to just uh, start a, just sprout wings and and overtake me at any second now. Continuing the blood sport joke. Oh, okay. Can you tell that I'm really fond of the movie blood sport? Hey, no! Oh no! Of course. You have to fly through every single ring. Every single one. Don't miss a single green ring, or you gotta start from the beginning! Do -do -do. Oh no! No! Second! Not second! Can't do that! Oh. Uh. 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 I'm not sure if this is the case, but, um. Whenever you, uh. Whenever you flew through a, a speed up star, and, and you, 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 you ran into an enemy, that counted as an attack? I'm not sure if it counts in this one. Get out of here. It's a wonder that the, the butterfly's wings don't, you know, disintegrate after after getting caught on fire. I'ma getcha! I'ma getcha! I'ma getcha with this flame! Oh no, he's, he's too fast. Look at him go, he's fast. Ah, I got him. Now I just gotta catch up to that guy. Boy, he's way ahead. But he's gonna miss the next star, and that's my opportunity to catch up. Hubris, in other words. I have to take advantage of his hubris. Or he could just get all of them. Which one is he going to miss? That one. Oh, I'm so close! I'm so close! This is the same thing that happened last time! I'm upset. I'm set! Got him! What do you think you're doing here? You're not allowed to win this race! Only I have the skill too! I couldn't think of a fourth bar of lyrics in time. And there you go. There you have it. There you have it. Two minutes exactly!
Ooh. See, see, my principal cost me six minutes. A little more than that, actually. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. See, now I'm... See, now I'm being... Uh, see, now I realize that I was being dumb. And that the, uh... The, the, the Sabina egg was for actually doing the, uh... The time trial and not the race. Ooh. That's not gonna look good. In post. Ooh. That's not gonna look good. Joiner, you're an idiot again. Okay. Anyway, we're done with the speedway. Um. Okay. With this next, with this next bit coming up, I want. I'm wondering if they uh kept a certain game mechanic the same way. Okay, so. In the original Year of the Dragon, there was a hidden difficulty mod, um, a, a hidden difficulty mod that would adjust itself depending on whether you died or, or you played uh, excessively well. And I'm wondering if that is the case in this one or if they left it static. It's especially apparent with the um, with the boss battles, which one is coming up right now. Okay, um, yeah, l let me know. This balloon will take you to a land closer to the sorceress, Spyro. You can also use it to come back here whenever you want to. I haven't seen a balloon like this in, in quite some time. In, in fact, it's been exactly one adventure, and maybe a little bit of change. I guess you'll just hop in the balloon now, eh? Don't ask me how it works. I just showed up for the punch and cookies. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a mayor. That sounds like what a mayor would do. Hop in the balloon whenever you want, Spyro. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That was his line in the original. This balloon will take you to the great Tiki Lodge in the sky. Just jump on when you're ready. Well, that doesn't make... That doesn't make me sound... Uh, that, that, that doesn't sound very uh, enticing. No, in fact, that makes me slightly uncomfortable that you would word it that way. Okay. I guess we just jump. Leap on right in. And the game doesn't pause. Nope. You just go... You just go. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho! That thing is turbo-powered. Dear, dear God. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised you didn't flatten down or anything. You just... Boof! Right into the sky. Jeez. Well, anyway, we got a... Yep, I said boss battle. Buzz is dungeon. Buzz is a boss. Listen carefully, you stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I, I've tried to scare him off, your highness, but he's just not afraid of anything. Not afraid? Not afraid? Why have I been training you all these years? Use some magic! Here's a spell book. Whip up a monster and eliminate him! Uh... Kill him? I don't care what you do, you useless brat! As long as you get rid of him! Okay, let's see what we got here. Mm, this ought to do it. You can't keep me caged up in here forever! <laughs> you there! Get me out of here! This is unacceptable! You, come here! <laughs> <laughs> What the devil? Oh, he just laughed at me. He just... Oh. Wow. Wow, this place looks infernal. When I heard the sorceress was planning to ambush you, I got here as fast as I could. No worries, though. This wussy green toad will be no match for the two of us. Oh, boy. Can't wait to get started. Uh, I had something to say. Right, regarding the cutscene, they added a couple of things. They enhanced it a little bit. Also, they gave Sergeant Bird some extra lines. Alright. Cool stuff. 
So before every boss, there will be a small, a small preview of the next guy that you're going to. Ugh! Get in there. Get in there. A small preview of the next uh, area, uh, the next friend that you're going to unlock. Thank you. Ooh. Please no. Okay, so Buzz. Buzz is a little tricky. He'll, he'll, he'll charge at you the same way you're charging at him. You knock him into the lava and then he does a, a literal spin dash. Literally spin dashes at you. Good thing he can't do that. Uh, after two hits, that happens. After two hits. And then in the, he continues the thing. Oh, but no, but no, but no, but no. We got this. You can't approach him during that fire thing, obvious, obviously. Oh, jeez, I almost, I almost did. I almost did. Why would I do that? Oh, gosh, oh, dear, oh, god, okay. Oh, I could jump out of lava. This doesn't hurt that much. <laughs> and then after four hits... Not only th with that, but he spits fire. He spits fire too. Spits hot fire. Literally spitting hot fire. <laughs> I just want to see him in a, in, a, in, a, in a rapper get up now and just see him go to town. He could probably rap in Monster. That's probably a thing. There you go. Oh, and he drowns in lava. Okay. Well, good to see that's a, a thing that keeps going on in in Spyro games, is that villains just keep dying in lava! That was a pretty simple boss, all things considered. Like that went that fight went a lot easier than they usually do for me. Um what was that? Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, I don't want to go back. Not yet, anyway. Um What is this? Who are these fine folks that I'm sure to be meeting in the future sometime soon? Huh. Ooh, ooh, I like this. I like it. Okay. Back in the back of the thing, because we've still got things to do. Still have things to do before we end off the playthrough. Not the playthrough, the uh, the session. Can you imagine if we just did one home world and then that's it? That's the end of the playthrough. Go play the rest for yourself if you want to see more. I'm not that cruel. Maybe I am during one shots, but I'm not that cruel. Oh, so the reason we're back in Sunrise Spring is because now that we've uh, defeated the boss of this home, uh, this home world. We can just uh, go over here and talk to uh, Zoe, who wasn't here previously. Spyro, I found an egg, but only Sparks will be able to reach it. There's a small hole that leads to a crawdad farm. I can take him there if he's ready. Let's do it. Into the crawdad farm bonus world. Hello, Sparks. Before you take on those nasty crawdads, I should give you some help. To start, let's practice shooting. Press the attack button to shoot these targets. Oh, oh, it is top down. Okay, cool. All right, that seems to be all in good working order. All right, open these up. Here we go. You can also move quickly by pressing the charge button, like Spyro. Use your charge to chase down this fast enemy. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get this guy, and he's gonna get gotten. That's a nice looking streak. Unfortunately, from what I recall, the, the charge button, other than getting away from enemies, doesn't see much use because it's not it does it's not actually considered an attack. Now for the hard part. Being a maneuverable dragonfly, you can also strafe in any direction. To strafe, hold down the roll left or roll right button. Then move with the left stick. 
Try strafing to hit the targets in this room. Okay, I, I'm seeing sparks move around, and I knew it reminded me of something. Um, Yanma? Very Yanma-like. Unfortunately, we do not have the speed boost ability, which means, uh, this is as fast as we're gonna be moving most of the time. On your travels, you'll notice butterflies that give you health, just like in the dragon world. Not only that, but some butterflies will give you special powers, though only for a short time. Just eat any power-up butterfly, then press the jump button to use that power-up. Your power-up is shown in the top right of the screen. Got it. Okay, so we picked this up. And then, oh, okay, we're not actually gonna pick it up. We're just gonna miss it all. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. Spread shot. And that's a very powerful, this is a very, very useful power-up that they gave me just now. You're gonna see, you're gonna be seeing me use it a lot. Look at that. Effortlessly. Effortless. Okay. Looks like you're ready, Sparks. If you need any more guidance, just choose the controls option from the pause menu. Oh, Sparks' eyes are really getting to me, guys. Like, I know they're supposed to be that large, because he's a bug, after all, and that's where the phrase bug-eyed comes from. But still. Still. Oh, I didn't need that health butterfly, but thank you. Thank you for being so considerate. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be hoarding a lot of these. A lot of these power-ups. I'll try my best to show off each of the power-ups, but I, um... It's probably just gonna be this one, honestly. <laughs> like, I don't even want that one, man! Alright. So we got the red key, and we got these colored doors. Red key goes to red door, obviously. Obviously, right? Get, 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 get out of here, get, get, go, 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 go! Where's the red? I think it's over here. Yeah. There we go. Strafing, strafing, strafing. Gotta keep on strafing. Then spray shot. <laughs> and kill everything, yeah. Now this glowing butterfly, I believe, gives you invulnerability for a little bit. So I wanna collect everything here and then collect this. And no, that was that was just a reload. Okay. Was it the next one then? It might have been the next one. Grabs! There it is! That's the one. They're they're colored differently, but uh You really just wanna get as many of them as you can. Oh, oh boy. That's fun. That's fun to do. Just run by the shield and just There you go. Give them that force field. Take that, destroy that, and to destroy everything. Watch, watch this hubris get to me, and then I'm gonna get like destroyed by the other one. Oh, the flares! The flares go in three different directions. It's a, it's, it's pretty much a try shot, and I missed. I missed every single one shot. Ugh, ugh. And then the blue one is over here. Okay. Come here. Oh! Ooh, that's new. That's new. That's definitely new. Hang on. They never did that before. That makes this power-up actually a little more useful. Cool. <laughs> cool stuff. Uh, then let's try that that other other power up then. What's going on here? Oh, missiles, huh? Rockets, missiles, fireworks. Kind of look like fireworks. And then right after this, judging by the Zoe thing, there. Um, yep. Get locked in with a boss! Oh, 
Oh, here come missiles. Okay. And then you destroy those. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. That was, that was kind of disgusting, that last phase. You don't defeat him in time, he just breathes fire on you forever. It's okay. Taking one hit is absolutely fine. Uh, oh, oh. Can't slip behind that. No, don't do that. Now we can go. Waste all our ammo first. There we go. We beat the Crawdad King. Crawdad. This is it's such a funny word to say. Just Crawdad. Crawdad. Crawfather. <laughs> Where did that word even come from? Nice work, Sparks. You've beaten the Crawdad King and found the lost egg. Not only that, but some of the dragon magic seems to have rubbed off on you. Now you can pick up gems when they're even further away from Spyro. Which is a good incentive to, uh, to do those extra worlds because, um, I, I'd like have, I like having extra abilities. How about you? Like extra passive abilities that I don't have to worry about? Hey, yes, please. Yes, please. I'll do it. 